O yung basa mo ba yung balita? Unconstitutional daw yung 2024 na budget? Narinig ko nga yan. Correction lang ah. Hindi naman daw yung buong budget. Pero... Uh, the additional 450 billion pesos made by Congress to the to the level of the unprogrammed appropriations as proposed by the President is unconstitutional. We are questioning the excess in the allocation of the unprogrammed funds. Ah, teka lang, teka lang. Oh. Unprogrammed funds? Unprogrammed appropriations? Ano ba yung mga yan? Appropriations ang tawag sa authorization ng Congress para sa paggastos ng gobyerno ng pera ng bayan. At may tatlong klase ng appropriations sa national budget. Una yung automatic appropriations. Ito yung siguradong may nakalaan ng pera sa budget. Pasok siya yung military pension, national tax allotment, pati yung mga utang na kailangan bayaran ng bansa dahil nasa batas na ang pagbabayad dyan. Meron ding program appropriations para sa mga proyekto ng administrasyon na meron ng identified na pagkukunan ng pondo. At yung mga wala pang pondo, inilalagay sa unprogrammed appropriations. Ito, paliwanag ng budget expert. Parang unfunded check. So, para kapag ka merong um, emergencies or unforeseen circumstances uh, at kailangan ng executive branch gumastos para dito, meron agad na ano, matatap na authority to spend o kakayanan na pwede pong gamitin na panggastos. Ah, standby authority pala to para sa mga nakalistang proyekto. Pero wala bang pondo. Pero hindi mo ito magagastos unless certain conditions are satisfied. Pwede lang gamitin ang unprogrammed funds kung meron nito. Excess o bagong tax revenues, approved loans para sa mga foreign assisted projects, o kaya may fund balance mula sa mga government-owned or controlled corporations. Yan po ay uh, ginagawa every budget season sa mga priority programs na sa tingin namin pag meron na pong budget na additional o may pondo po na additional ang gobyerno, pwede po yan uh, mabayaran. Ginagawa naman pala yan every year eh. Anong problema? 281.9 billion pesos lang naman kasi ang hinihingi ng Malacanya. Pero pagdating sa Bicameral Conference Committee ng Kongreso, dinagdagan ito ng 449.5 billion pesos kaya lumobo yung kabuuang halaga sa 731.5 billion pesos. As the Constitution prohibits Congress from increasing the appropriations recommended by the President, but there is no distinction uh, between the program and the unprogrammed. So both are covered by the ban. In the past, even if there were increases in the unprogrammed appropriations, hindi niya nabibreach yung total budget ceiling. Eh bakit nga ba tumaas? Noon kasi, walo lang yung nasa listahan na may unprogrammed funds. Ngayon, hulaan mo kung ilan na. Ilan? 51 na. Eto, tingnan mo. Wow, ang dami. At take note, pwede pa yung palitan ni PBBM kung may makita siyang urgent o implementation-ready projects na align sa budget priorities ng gobyerno. Ano bang ibig sabihin nito para sa mga Pilipino? Once the conditions are satisfied, then it's no longer a wish list. It's a budget that's going to be executed. It, it is something the taxpayers will inevitably have to pay for also. So it's really a question of um, transparency in the use of such ah. a large um, space in, in, in the budget. We should not perpetuate an errant interpretation mm -hmm. of the Constitution with respect to the ban on both the program yeah. and the program funds. And secondly, because of the inordinately huge increase in the uh, um, program funds which can be the sanctuary of even partisan and pet projects of some legislators. Hmm, ang galing naman pala nung nagsingit niyan. Mismo, 